so many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go, I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt, but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. So, how long will we be in California? Actually, no, that's kind of why we're packing up everything is because if the trial works really well, then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time. Like, as long as it keeps helping Joel, then we will for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. And yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord, replete with presents, supernatural miracles.